It's Plymouth Sparky. We've had Sparky Ninja, now we've got Plymouth Sparky, and of course we've got Richard Townsend, the creator of the Code Breaker. That is, yeah, and we're on edition number two, is that correct? Yeah, edition number two for the 18th edition. All rewritten, double the content, double the codes, lots more information for contractors, recovering, art fault detection, all sorts of everything. David, is there anything you'd like to see in that book? Yeah, Richard, I'd want to know if there's any additional information on uh, SPDs. Yes, there's a section on surge protection, what to look for if you're doing the ICR, what to, what to code things if you find them or you don't find them, uh, the risk assessment for the um, combined risk length, we go all through that and give you some dummy examples so you can understand whether we need to use uh, surge protection or not on an installation. So it's evolved, we would suggest. We've just seen the presentation, haven't we? I think we did quite well on our C1, C2s yeah, and C3. Good, yeah. yeah, not too bad. One or two hecklers, I think, in the audience. But we've evolved that book. It's a lot bigger, and now it's got additional information to help make Absolutely. electricity's life easier. Yeah. I thought the first edition was fantastic. I've had a little look at the draft, and it looks fantastic as well. Me, Matt, Joe, and Marcus would like to thank everybody at the Elect Show in Coventry that made us feel so welcome. These are some of the things we took away to give to our learners. We'd like to give a massive thanks to Linear Fire Clips for their kind donation of fixings and the time that Ian and Lynn spent with us. We'd like to thank Paul Meenan and the guys from E5 for their time and Marcus is now an E5 member. As always, we'd like to thank Wago, or is it Vargo? I don't know without Matt being here, who got to spend some time with Michael Lane. Also, Unicrimp, who kindly gave us these tubs full of clips and fixings, but also kindly donated us a safe isolation kit, which we're already using in the workshop. My last big thank you goes to Napit, who spent a lot of time with us looking at Codebreaker 2 and donated a load of lanyards, pens, and the original Codebreaker book to issue to our students. Thank you very much for everybody who looked after us at the election.